have up on our feet. Let's lift up our hands and appreciate the Lord. Let's give God the praise. Let's stand up on our feet. Let's stand up on our feet. Lift up your hand and say, Father, we bless your name. Thank you for the privilege. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for we have gathered for celebration. Lord, thank you for what you have done. Lord, celebration will not end in my life. Every aspect of my life shall be celebration. Say, Lord, thank you. I have come to rejoice with those that rejoice. People will rejoice with me. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I have come. Take out the glory. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Abba, Father, we glorify your name. Thank you for what you have done. Lord, we say, have your way. Whatever that will cause confusion in this meeting, Lord, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Let your glory made manifest. Lord, joy is contagious. We shall contact joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, can you shake somebody by your side and tell the person, you are welcome in Jesus' name. All right, we want to see the little bride and the page boy match in. While they are marching in, please, the groom and his men should be ready. While the little, the page boy and the little bride is marching in, we want let the groom and the men should get ready. Bless him, you are going to give us a wonderful music. Hallelujah. We will march unto the city, the city, the city of God. We are marching unto the city. When the we are marching unto the city, the city, the city of God. We are marching unto the city. Where the beauty of the is 
constant. His beauty is made up of gold. We are marching on to the city where the beauty is made. Can somebody shout it louder? Amen. All right, let's watch the groom march in. The groom and his men. Please, it's time for you to march in. The groom and his men. See the way you love me. See the way you can come. Carry my matter for your head low. In the name of Oh Lord, you watch over me, Lord. You know they can't even take me home. Yeah, you see me, oh See the way you come. Yes, this is the way you come. You can't even find out what you're doing. You see me, oh Jesus. Oh, <laughs> 
Celebrate him, Daddy. God bless you for coming. Let, please celebrate Mr. Admin. Hallelujah. By God's grace, we have our host minister who is going to be reading the scripture that is going to take the next item in the list. And please help me celebrate Reverend Bright Mokocha Mokocha, the Bishop of Fosso, which of the Lord Pastor. Let's celebrate him as he's come up. Jesus, you help me and do one thing now. Oh, no, but let me do one day. I can see ya. God bless you for that. We want to take a Bible reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 18 to 25. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate for him. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name Bero. And Adam gave names to all the cattle and to the fowls of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found any help made for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall not shall be one flesh and they were both naked the man and his wife 
and we are not ashamed. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. It's good you celebrate meal. Can you clap now? Praise the Lord. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Our brother Jane and our brother Innocent and Sister Jane, they shall become one today. You are not happy with them. Say amen now. Whether your enemy is strong or not, it will happen in Jesus' name. All right, without wasting time, let's stand up as we take the second hymn. Please, where are these people here? I want you to always stand by. Where are they? Have they disappeared? We are going to take our second hymn. The second hymn. Where are they? Shall we stand? My hope is that my hope is built on nothing. Else. My hope is built on nothing else than Jesus' love. Not twice the sweetest rain, but only me. Oh, Jesus.
Oh, it's going to do the next duty. Please permit me to bring Reverend Bright to the microphone. The proper introduction. Servant of the Lord that will be giving us the word of God this morning. He's a great servant of the Lord and he is the district main ministry coordinator of Assemblies of God, Lagos Mainland District. He's also the senior pastor of Assemblies of God Church, Ewaya. Can we rise up together in honor of the Lord as we welcome Reverend Praise the Lord. You may regain your seats. I want to begin by thanking the Almighty God for making it possible for me to be here today and for this wedding to hold. And uh, thank especially our district secretary and the session leader of Agoda Session and our, our our chief host the Reverend Nehi Uhe thank you sir for the opportunity given to me to minister in your section praise God if he said no I can't come here I wouldn't be here today I'm here standing because of his permission I also want to thank the Reverend Bocha has been a brother, a friend, colleague, and uh, ready to go servant of God. He's so loving, he's so engrossed in when it comes to taking care of members and fellow ministers, he's at the number one. God bless you, our beloved pastor. We love you, continue to love you in Jesus' name. Uh, they say behind every successful man there is a woman and I used to say beside beside every successful man there is a woman that serves as a stabilizer and that is the evangelist Mrs. Porter thank you my for the good work you are doing hallelujah and by extension, I want to thank our in-laws who are here today, and my co-ministers, and all the special guests. See yourself as blessed for being here before now, because after this time, many are coming because of rice. You will come to place of all receive ministration from the world before eating of rice. Praise God. You know, one of the beauties of marriage is that marriage, like uh, our people said, you don't stretch the neck of somebody who is dead. You know, when somebody dies, they say, stretch his neck. You also stretch the neck of somebody who is alive. And through weddings, we strengthen the neck of our own marriages. Somebody will live here today being blessed. After the message in Jesus' name, praise the name of the Lord. By the grace of God, I want to start by reading our host pastor has made it easier for me. He has taken time to read Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 and verse 25. Has made it very, very easy for me. Where the Bible says, The Lord God said, It's not good for the man to be alone. And I will make him a help me. And the verse 25 Bible says, and they were both at naked. I will not walk ashamed. He has read up that one. But let us go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I will be reading from verse number 4 through verse 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 from verse 4 through 13. Charity suffered long and is kind. Charity envied not, charity vaunted not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, 
thinketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh not evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things, charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail, whether there be tongues, they shall cease, whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I taught as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. But now we are, we see through a glass, darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as I also am known. And now about that faith, hope, charity, this three, the greatest of this is what? Charity. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 24 and 25. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 24 and verse 25. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. The Lord bless the name of his word in Jesus' name. This morning, I want to speak on a topic that says foundation for successful Christian marriage. Foundation for successful Christian marriage. I will start by defining the word foundation. Some time ago, many years ago, uh, uh, this one made me for nine years in Lagos. So, the first day I stayed to Martin Street and saw Great Nigeria Insurance House rising strongly in the sky. I was gazing, looking how tall building is. And I began to imagine why is this building say stand like that many years before I came to Lagos. I will ask him some questions and I will make to understand that the secret of that building standing was not because of the road, was not because of even the cement and blocks. The secret of that building standing and towering is the cause of the foundation. Foundation is everything when it comes to family building. Dictionary define foundation as the lowest load bearing part of a building. The lowest load bearing. We are here now, we are celebrating today. You don't see the foundation of this building. What I hold this building today is foundation that they lay. And I believe in God that today we have come to lay a foundation by bringing forth the word of God. And now we leave the couple to go home and begin to build. I'm not what they are is successful. Success means accomplishing a desired aim or result. When you accomplish a desired aim or result, I know that before Brother Innocent approached uh, our sister Jane, first of all, fears gripped him. No matter how much you have prayed, 
He said, but when you look at her, there was a lot of fear gripping you. But today, I was there when they did their court marriage, that they took my last baby also for court marriage. And I saw her happy away. I just smiled. Marriage is a very big thing. By the grace of God, by March, next year, I'll be there for 38 years. He said, the man who is going to war, and they say war has ended, and the man who fought the war, when they are returning back from the war front, they don't have this same story. So you better open up your mind. You have successfully achieved your aim by having James by your side from today. After Oga pronounced you husband and wife. But that is not the end of it. We're talking about a Christian. Who is a Christian? A Christian is a believer in Christianity. A believer in Christianity. But by our own way, we call, say, somebody who is born again. And I assume that whoever that is born again is already sold out to Jesus Christ. So the Holy Spirit controls you. Now we can call us a Christian. So we believe that both of you are Christians. And we believe you are going to live as Christians. Why marriage means legally or formally recognized union of two people as partner in a personal relationship. Talk about marriage. May recognizing two people legally, recognizing two persons, man and woman, not man versus man, that we see today in the world, the gay, the lesbianism, where a woman go and marry a fellow woman and put in the house, and they call themselves, yes, a husband and wife. Where a man will go and marry a fellow man, and they call themselves husband and wife. That is evil. That is satanic. But the marriage that God recognizes is a marriage between a man and a woman who relates in a personal relationship. Hallelujah. Brethren, I want to point out some keys that will lead you in building a successful marriage. One of the keys that will help you to build successful Christian marriage is your family altar. You know, marriage is not human beings act. It was not man who, who, who saw the need for marriage. It was God himself. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 8, God said, it is not good that a man should be alone. God saw the need. God created the desire in you for an innocent before you began to think of marriage. You know, I remember 1984. I used to be a prayer warrior then. That was the day I thought of marriage for the first time. Being a young bachelor at that time, uh, you know, I was even a deacon a choir provost, so many things in the church, I, I go on your church then. After our burden bearer prayer, we closed about 8.30 that time, PM. I was returning back home. And unfortunately, that very back in that week, I did not cook because any week I did not cook on Saturday, I can't cook again. I would drink three tea dry because I have a triangular way of living from my house to my office from the office to the church, from the church to my house. That is how my life was rotating. I don't have to about this village meeting, this and that and that. I didn't do all those things. That fearful day, it was no, it was about to turn the night. Yes, I was turning back from prayer warrior. Heavy rain fell. And it was, it was windy rain. All the people I expected to have bought a car or bread when I turned it back. The, the rain drove them away. I walked to home. 
and there was nothing in the house. I was hungry. Even the idea that was coming from church left me. For the first time, I felt lonely. So how I wish I had a wife. I should have made food at home. That was the first day I ever thought of marriage. In 1984, God revealed my wife to me. I didn't marry her by recommendation. I remember that, and there was a lady that people were recommending to me that time. You know, as a young deacon now, you know, bachelor. That lady we were proposed, recommended. She today, she's still a wife, she never married. About eight years ago, she still never married. I'm not the making all the secret engagement can bring disastrous disappointment. I want to congratulate two of you that you made up your mind. Know that your family altar determines what that happened to your family. Any marriage that fails at the family altar has fallen. Today we have a lot of parents. We are one leader or the other in the church controlling congregation, but their children are outside the church. But they failed at the family level. So your altar should speak for your family. Have a strong altar, no matter how difficult it is. Make sure, even if you are living at home, 4 a.m. in the morning, make sure you wake your wife. Pray with her. Do some touchology. Touch her. Smile. I thank God by the grace of God, the kind of wife I marry. If I'm moving from the house by five, by four thirty, my food is ready. In fact, the, the, the best language I hear from my wife, even to today, is your food is ready. If you don't start on time, prepare yourselves. One mama put will be waiting for her husband at one junction. And many men who eat such food every morning don't make proper service. After your family order, the next thing, feed your husband well. Hallelujah. Don't be like those women who who will call themselves when the man is about to go. The only thing they wake up is when they need money. Pray at the family altar. Whatever you want your family to be, pronounce it from your family altar. And your wife or your husband will be equally amen. Praise the Lord. Very, very important. We see that a happy marriage is the union of two good forgivers two good forgivers make happy marriage a lot of people buy long notes and all they do is to write the fault of their partner you are just deceiving yourself why should you in the first place marry that man you cannot tolerate that woman cannot tolerate or forgive marriage is for those who are very, very good when it comes to forgiveness. Many marriages will do better, will be better if the husband and the wife will understand that they are on one side. The husband and the wife that want to build a strong home must learn to be one side. No matter the situation, don't leave your partner alone. Hallelujah. Number two point is trust. Trust is a very wonderful thing in marriage relationship. When you trust yourselves, nobody will begin to manipulate you. Not today. A lot of women are being manipulated, especially as things are going in the country like that. There are some sugar daddies 
Oh, je suis dans mon On a des trosses. I mentioned the kind of four legs that contribute to trusting one another. One of it is faithfulness, fidelity. You must be very, very faithful to your partner. The temptation of sex will come from. I work in an office where ladies don't come to office with pants. And they will sit opposite you and they make a leg like make a leg like this. If you are not a Christian, you fall. You must be determined that no matter what, you will not soil yourself. But sexual abuse is so dangerous in married relationship. That was why when God was giving ten commandments, He brought out verse fourteen of Exodus chapter twenty. He said, "Thou shalt not commit adultery." Because God knows that adultery can destroy. Marriage relationship. Hallelujah. So you should be able to remain faithful. Place yourself at those high estates. You know, something with the women. Women are just like a soup you cook in a very big pot, and a side with different type of plates and sizes. Soup you cook in a big pot and use different type of plates to serve. That's how a woman is. And you should be able to make sure you build your home. Honesty is another thing that encourages trust. You should be honest to one another. Never use use a metal man to talk to your partner. Never you send somebody to go and talk to your husband or go and talk to my wife. If I tell her, "Me no go get it," why would she agree? Don't tell lies. Some years ago, in Akonjo Church, a brother is married, and when they were married, they got married very fine, beautiful lady, and she became pregnant. And when she went to deliver, she was struggling to give birth. The nurses called the doctor. I said, "The way we see this woman, she may give up, but let us help her." The doctor said, "No, no, 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 no. With her age, her system is okay. Leave her." The woman said, "Doctor, please. This woman, the way we look at her, she's losing strength." The doctor said, "No, no, no. Look at her file. By her age, she's supposed to give birth." And the lady. Almost at her time for the card, he said, "Doctor, come, 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 come." Doctor, he said, "What did I say?" He said, "Doctor, I am 36." You know what he read? That he told the husband that she's 26 years old girl, 26 years old girl. When she became pregnant, she registered as 26 year old girl, newly married. But when she saw death coming. When her babies could not open up because of her age, she beckoned her daughter and said, "Daughter, please come. I know be twenty six years old. I be thirty six. Why must you tell the truth when you see yourself now about to die? Begin to practice the truth from now. Praise God." So that your partner can say, "I know my partner. I know he can say this or she can say this and this and that." Under the same trust, we must learn to forgive, forgive one another. Forgiveness is a strong key in Christian marriage. If you know how to forgive, you will have unnecessary high blood pressure and diabetes. Diabetes. BP and some heart attack, some what they call inner circle diseases, which you wouldn't want to share with people. Most of them, as a result of bitterness and anger, build up within the home. 
forgive knowing that you are not angels you are human beings the story of Jerry and Jane ah, the name is like Jane came to my mind Jerry and Jane brother Jerry used to admire the hair of Jane if I went Jane is in trouble, when she make her hair like this, the, the hair would go like this. Like Jane, Jane would say, hey, this can get this hair, a wonderful hair. If I, his eye was always on the hair of Jane. You know, men have different kind of attractions for women. What attracts you to a man, a woman may not be what attracts you. Likewise, women. Oh, Jerry, love the hair. Of such a and again, Brother Jerry has fine teeth, but when he smiles, you know, when they smile, your teeth will throw light on your face. Now, what those smiling people always look more healthier, more happier, and more handsome or beautiful. That's why God gave you white teeth, you can smile. Jane used to be very happy with the type of teeth. Jerry. So they got married. After marriage, for the first time, this little girl and take her bed together. They decided that they would pack it together and eat it together. That one used to work. This time when the marriage is younger. As they went in to go and back, take her bed. Sister Jane put her hand on her hair. Ooh. Throw out the wig. Brother Jerry shouted, What is this? Her hair, no hair, no hair. Brother Jerry shouted, What is this? Sister Jerry said, eh, When I was young, I fell inside fire and fire consumed my hair. And uh, thank God I survived. They say my hair cannot grow again. <laughs> Brother Jerry cries, It was this your hair that attracted me to marry you. It was this your hair. Oh. The man cried and cried. It was too late. Jane began to beg. I will love you. I cherish you. I will do this. The brother overcame the shock. After that, they went to the table to eat together. As they landed at the table, but I just put hand like this, oh, throw at the seat and place them on the table. She naked for the hot job. Jen shouted, What's this? But I Jerry laughed. There was no single seat. So he was using artificial teeth. Since I Jerry shouted, and said, It was this seat where they attract me. When you smile like this, I like that. But I say, Hey, God, I see that. Please forgive me. He became one one. But let's not send as a gem. When you remove these artificials, I know you are safe as to ah, remember the vow you are taking from this home. Situations may come. When some people will say, I didn't know that is how you are or how you wear. Even if you say you are not the best person to say it. But I want to tell you, learn to forgive, learn to tolerate, learn to accommodate yourselves. Very, very important. Even like Jerry and like Jane can overcome their different, their, their faults. And they were able to make good marriages. You cannot so make it. When there is not always dancing, I saw you dancing a very energetically. We are welcome to the club. <laughs> welcome to the club. <laughs> Praise God. God who kept us will also keep you. Hallelujah. The number two key is respect. If you value a person, you will treat him or her with honor and dignity. Value 
you are serving. Praise God. Let me tell you all the ways you can you can create the kind of respect to your husband that will make him, no matter whatever it is, he will continue to think about you. One of them is that when your husband is leaving home in the morning, even if you are the one leaving home first, hug him. Praise God. Or hug her. When it's coming, also hug. Hug your partner. Give me wonderful kids. Value people he values. Now that they're coming to the family, now you are not coming to family for them to throw away their, their son or for them to throw away their daughter. The way you relate your families will determine how far you are in love from both sides will be coming to your house. If that Jane prepares her home, builds her home as a Christian woman well, your home will become another second place for your family. If and when your husband sees them, he, he opens up and welcomes them. But if you are not a woman at home and you are one who retests your husband, anything that connects you will be retesting your husband. That's why so many laws don't go to their love place. But they know that their daughter is not there anywhere. Mr. Jane is not one of those people. And I speak the same thing to brother innocent. Finally, you have wife. People met her what she is today. Take care. Make sure that you don't begin to defile yourself. When to somebody from their side, money will come out. When some from from her side say there's no money, no. Walk together. Hallelujah. Respect one another. And my sister, I am advising you. Why we say this? Because women are the controllers of the kitchen. When there is any kind of misunderstanding in the compound, I'm not saying you are involved. Something is going on, you are involved. When your husband steps in, you have to step backward. Praise God. Don't be the chairman of the meeting when your husband is there. Allow your husband to speak eh, for you. Give him that respect. Thank God your husband is a very tall man. You know, you know his height. Praise God. Value your husband. My brother, value your wife. Hallelujah. Give yourself respect. Respect provoke love flowing naturally. Men love respect. Men love food. Men love sex. Women love petting. Talking to them and providing their petty petty needs. From such way, you see yourself coming together. Do your best to show proper respect to one another. If you are respecting your wife, I mean your husband, you are respecting yourself. If you are loving your wife, you are loving yourself. Let me jump because of time now. The four keys understanding. First Peter chapter 3, verse 7, uh, verse 7 said. Husbands should deal with their wives according to knowledge. What does it mean that knowledge? If you have no union must work, you must understand the type of woman you have in the house. Praise God. Know what she tolerates, what she doesn't tolerate. Know what your husband tolerates, what your husband doesn't tolerate. Don't begin to compare yourself with others. Please, flow at your own level and grow from there. Flow at your own level. Understand your wife. Understand your husband. Because if you understand one another, it will help you to work together. Please, my brother, when the Bible says that women are weaker facing, women are not weaker facing the sense that they are very, very soft. Or they can't. He who is helping and he who is being helped, which one is stronger? The person that is helping and the person that is being helped, which one is stronger? God said, I will make you a helper, a helpmate. Women see what men don't see. But see them there, as you see them now, someone, 
many of them have entered before they enter here. They have checked exit points. If there's danger, we have to run away. But the man doesn't try to reverse it on. Man doesn't, is not afraid. Don't enter to be served. But the woman who enter can anywhere, they look for exit point. They sense danger faster than men. When I wife is pointing out somewhere, 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 watch. Understand what you say. Praise God. Lastly, the big O. Call it the big O. That is love. That is the main key. It has been discovered that sexual relationship determines what happens in the family. Families that fulfill sexually will be fulfilled in other areas of life. When a man is struggling with a woman to have sex with her, that woman will also be struggling to get money out of his hand. You tight your legs, I tight my pocket. It should not be so in the Christian marriage. The bedroom and your relationship are inseparably connected. You are dead to me. God is interested in what is going on in your bedroom. Sex brings you closer together. The scientists have discovered that during orgasm, a neuro, neurotransmitter called oxytocin gets released to the brain. Oxytocin is released to your brain during sexual intercourse. That is the highest point of joy anybody can experience. When your brain receives this, it produces the ingredient known as love in human life and relationship. Nothing brings love into marriage than sex. It produces trust between you and others. Because if you give her somebody a SIM card, I'll tell somebody your, your password. What have you not given to him? But if you hide your SIM card, they might say, I want to get breakthrough. You say, no. You lock up your SIM card. And you'll be struggling. One day, my senior brother, the wife was crying. My father called him when he was alive. Dad, charity, come, come. Why are you crying? The girl was crying seriously. He said, Your yeah, husband beat you, said, No. No food in the house. He said, Yeah, food in the house. What happened? He said, The man like Kwane man. He said, That man like Kwane man. Don't be a Kwane man to your wife. Don't be a Kwane woman to your husband. If you know the act of satisfying your husband sexually, there is nothing you ask he will not give to you. You see love. That's why when you see one mother wife quarrel sometimes, when even they come to quarrel, the moment they get in, in the following morning, you see them come now with smiles. They don't do the thing. Praise God. The children will not know that secret. They don't know what happened. I'm telling you that sexual relationship is good for your health. Praise God. Because to produce love, to produce trust, it to produce bonding, to bring two of you together, and it will reduce fear between two of you. First John chapter 4 verse 18. The Bible said, There is no fear in love. Perfect love 
casted out fears. Anybody you love and share life with, you won't be afraid in the presence of that person. I'm seeing a family that has sprinkled up today where love will be the main thing. Hallelujah. We see that there are some benefits in sexual relations. Number one is it increases your heart rate. It increases your heart rate. It makes you to breathe well. It burns calories. Unnecessary fat that our body don't need is a very good exercise. It burns it out. It helps you sleep better in the night. Hallelujah. It helps you to sleep better in the night. It promotes stronger immune system and eventually help you to live longer. It produces immune system. This is what God has done preserved for those who honor him. Praise God. But outside marriage, sex is evil. A successful partner, partners, successful partners are happy couples. Nothing stand and succeed against their union. Learn today that by the grace of God, very few minutes from now you'll be joined together. Know that the wife you have you are bringing to your family is not just to be a robber stamp. You are the one who detects what happens to your wife. Don't throw her to the family. When I was digging where a, a, a lady couple came, the lady was crying bitterly. After waiting, the mother-in-law refused to go. Mother-in-law refused to go. What happened? Two ways, three ways. After waiting, the woman the man, the woman went home. In the night, the newly married will sleep on the floor. The woman will sleep with his son. He said, I'm my only son. I've been sleeping with her all these years. I said, she's married now. She said, anyway, I've been there. I must enjoy my, my son. That's a bad mother-in-law. The child had to wait. He said, my wife, you don't do go. You have lived your own life. Go home. Hallelujah. I know we don't have such women here. There are some 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 wicked hearted mother in laws who will want their son, even before they buy a path for their wife, they come take permission. If we hear that one from innocent, you'll be suspended. Though. Because by this marriage have been separated from their family. This lady has done the highest sacrifice. Today, she has thrown away her father's name and taken your name. So, your success is her success. Make her feel loved. Make her feel comfortable. Defend her. And my sister, don't behave like my mom better. My mom better than when other women are cooking. She will not be in the kitchen. I mean, when other women are cooking, she will be in the kitchen monitoring the pot. Thank God for room and bath. I'm now this is flat we're living today. If you're not kidding, you go there again. Ah, how much your husband they give for food? This one will say, that, that time we started Naira when I come to Lagos. Started Naira to cook better food, buy meat, everything. He said, they give me. Maybe five naira then. He said, Ah, for this Lagos. Say, my husband, they give me 500 that time. That one will go and tell her, Look at my mom, better. The husband gives her bigger money. Look at the throw you are giving to me. Wow, everything. But when she wants to go, she makes sure that nobody's kitchen and she'll cover the arm. Don't compare your bottle of soup. With another woman own, manage their home. Do you know that what we eat controls our life? Even even our lifespan, what we eat. 
don't kill your family by wrong dish. A lot of rich rich today. Be a woman at home. But by the grace of God, when God begins to bless you, you will be able to manage yourselves. Love yourself. Cherish yourself. Make sure that you don't pass through third party to speak to one another. God is bringing you together today to help you to build a lasting and successful Christian marriage where the church will be happy, where your pastor will be happy, our guy here will be happy. We will begin to hear good news. If God can keep me for about eight years in marriage, my wife had never one day, never had tried one day, say, Iran, go meet the ferry. Not that we don't understand, we misunderstand ourselves. So build your home, make it work. Nobody will do it for you. If you are pressured, you have your pastor, you have your wife, go to them to see for advice. And God will bless this marriage in Jesus' name. Let's bow down our heads and pray. If you're already married, pray that your marriage will continue to be a success. And our brother that is to be joined very soon. And my sister, pray that the journey you are starting today will remain a success. Can we pray in the name of Jesus? Lord, I pray for my own marriage. That's about 29 years that Lord, you help me to continue and finish well. Bless my marriage with success. Lord, good sex. Help my marriage to be built on love. Help my marriage, Lord, to be built on trust, honesty. Thank you, Father, today. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We're going to pray for our guest speaker today that the Lord will also help him to continue and finish well. It's about 38 years. Lord, we pray for him that his marriage will remain a success. Can we pray in the name of Jesus? Father, we pray for our Father that has delivered your message to us this morning, that mighty God, grace to continue to be a success in marriage will be released to him. We pray for him and the wife that their marriage will end well. Thank you, Father. Bless them all. Long life, greater love in their marriage. For using him to bless us today, Father, when you bless every other home, thank you as you bless his home. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you didn't say a ladder MM now, all the whole food will go to Pastor Nick. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. All right. God bless you. Can you celebrate our Father that gave us the bread of life? Daddy, thank you, sir. I so much enjoy that message, especially on the area of sex. Amen. Very wonderful message. And I believe, you I have recorded it. And I believe they're recording it. When you go home, tell your wife, this side is very important. Amen. All right. We are going to another important area today. That is why we are here. To witness the joining of the couples to be. And we have one of our big men in the district of Assemblies of God, Lagos Mainland District. He's here today to, this great, to do this great sacrifice. Amen. Before I bring him, please, let's stand together. Stand together. Bible says, give honor to whom honor is due. We have in our midst the Lagos Mainland District Secretary and also the Senior Pastor of Favor Family Assemblies of God Church, Agoda Church, and also the Sectional Leader of Great Agoda Section. Join your hands as we welcome our Father in the Lord, the Reverend Israel. Great to be here, Nadia. Welcome, sir. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. All I know. All I know.
voice with the voices of everyone who has had opportunity of standing at this altar. We appreciate you for being here today. Your presence matters a lot to all, and especially for the innocent and the jail. We also appreciate our Father who just gave us the word. Psychologists say there are three important people you should listen to. Those who have the privilege of being older than you, those who know the way you are going, and those who know more than you. I'm interested to know that our father who just finished has given us all her three daughters in marriage, has given us his son in marriage, and has returned back to the boys, boyfriend and girlfriend status. So he's an experienced father. He's an experienced grandfather. And for the number of years he has also been married, he has spoken from his wealth of experience. I tell people that when we come to marriage ceremonies like this, it's like a seminar for those of us who are married. The challenges we're having in many homes is that the things we began with, many of us have stopped them. You have gotten the person you want to get married to. And so, but when you come into this environment, and you listen to some of the things that will help you much ahead. It's always good to go home and implement them. I had the privilege of preaching in a wedding that the Muslim was in that wedding. A man. I didn't know what prompted the man. He started recording the message. And after the wedding, he went home and apologized to the wife very unusually. Duba was wondering, where did you go? What did you hear? And he told the wife, I'm sorry, I have not been living the way I should live as a husband. The news got to the couple who invited me to the wedding and they shared the testimony. So many times when we come to programs like this, we try to consolidate and solidify our marriages because the devil is fighting marriages today. I'm happy he has stayed for 38 years. By the grace of God, I have one that is 49 years in my church. And maybe 50 next year. Well, we are saying this to you. That the same God who has helped those people, especially our Father who is here today, no matter what will come your way, the same God will help you. Among marriages that are crashing or have crashed, your own will not be included. When they are taking statistics of successful marriages, they will include your name on it. Praise the Lord. Can you please both stand? Can you hand over what you have? Let's go. Is that the person you want to marry? I can join the four of you together. But if not, you sit down. I have the anointing to join now so I can enjoy it. Who knows? Anything can happen, though. Yes. Thank you for saying yes, my brother. Anything can happen. All right. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony is commended of St. Paul to be honorable among all men and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined if any man a woman can show any just cause, just cause, provable cause, why they may not be lawfully joined together, let him or her speak now, or else hereafter forever hold his or her peace. Do we have anyone?
a girl from Nairobi says, I've married you and kept you in the village. And it's now he has to marry our own daughter. You better talk. Go. I'm sure this program is also being viewed on the social media. We have a case now of somebody who married abroad and came to Nigeria and married. And the marriage is having a problem. No, 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 no. Oh, Sister Jane. Don't worry, don't worry, don't let them put 
push you inside the highest. You see the most handsome young man. Look at his face. I'm sure you have seen some handsome men. But among the handsome men is he the most handsome man. Whether he grows fatter tomorrow or grows leaner tomorrow, will it affect your choice? They're not hearing you. No, sir. Thank you. While you are facing each other. Brethren, I'm sorry, but the little privilege I have in leadership is breaking my heart. I have a couple of three years who is asking for divorce. I have a couple of seven years who is asking for divorce. I have a couple of about ten years now that is asking for divorce. Where are we getting it wrong? I'm not saying from other denominations. I'm talking about the assemblies of God where I am today. Where are we getting it wrong? I think we have overpaid our people. And as a result, we are into this trouble. I had the privilege of meeting my grandfather who was not a believer, was married to my grandmother for 70 years. 70. We have gotten it wrong. Before I ask you to make vow, you should know that the greatest place you can make vow is the altar of God. Our God has been too merciful. I think it's that we invoke his jealousness. You're about to take very serious vows, and I want you to take it very seriously. I've never done this kind of journey in this spirit, but maybe because of the letters I just wrote. God will help you in my heart. Brother Innocent, when I finish saying you will answer, I will, or I will not. Even though that the Reverend said that the Lord has to enter his uh, house, that the North Area boys here, if he enters there, they will come and eat. People are hungry. So if you say you will not, no problem, we will walk away from here. If you say you will, we will continue. Huh? Would I have this woman to be thy wedded wife? You live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Would I love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other women? Give thee only unto her as long as you both shall live. Will you? Yes, I will by the grace of God. Again? Yes, I will by the grace of God. Again? Yes, I will by the grace of God. The Lord will give you grace. Mr. Jay. They say you are taller than him, small. Will they allow you to look down? You know that the day you came to my office, you saw the way I did. Maybe you know. Would I have this man to be thy wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will thou obey him? You heard the message on respect. Will thou serve him? Two way service. The wife used to call it the up one and the down one. Without serve him, without love him, without honor him, and keep him even in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other men, and keep you only unto him as long as you both shall live with you. Yes, I will. Again. Yes, I will. Again. Yes, I will. The Lord will give you grace. Amen. Can you please put your hands together for them? This marriage we are witnessing, we will not hear the downfall. If you know you don't have anything against this marriage, say a better amen. Who are the parents of the bride or the group? Our family representatives, please, if you are here, we would like to have you come around. The parents of the bride, the parents of the groom. Or the family representative. I think there should be a woman in your family. Please come with either the mother, the sister, or the aunt. Please put your hands together for them. 
one of my sons did I say, Aka on our wawa, Ushe Yike. Ushe Yike on our wawa. Amen. go to their seat thank you thank you you can go back to your seat i learned the culture from one of my fathers but i know said is coming from a different background sister jane is coming from a different background and they are here to build a new home and a new family we want to speak to the god of heaven if there was any error in either foundations, may those errors not follow this new family. This home is a new home. May heaven give them every needed grace they need to stand together and stand firm. Shall we stand together as we pray for them? That this home, as we have instituted it, no matter the background they had previously, may not affect this new home. Open your mouth and let me hear you pray for them. This is our daily desire for your son. They're coming from a different background. You know. You know. You know. You know. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' name we are praying. Father, the church is standing behind Brother Innocent and Sister Jane to ask of you that this family is instituted today. Mustafa is an error in any background. Father, it will not follow them here in Jesus' name. We plead the blood of Jesus upon Brother Innocent. We plead the blood of Jesus upon Sister Jane. This hope that is being instituted today will be opened with a new chapter. Everything about their life will move according to their and no devil will have and the grace to start a fresh beginning let it be released upon this family in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit and let it just say better Amen all right, release your hand. Now you will repeat after me. I innocent. Please take your seat. I Please take your seat. I innocent. I innocent. Take the. Take the. Mention a name. Take all of you to be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for us. For better for us. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And to cherish. Till death. Till death. Do us part. Do us part. According to. According to. God's holy ordinance. God. God's only author. And there too, and there too, I give you, I give you my faithful promise. My faithful promise. Amen. Amen. Release your hand. Do the same thing. Hold him. The right hand. Mm -mm. Right hand. Uh -huh. Repeat after me. I. I. Mention your name. Want to gain only to Take the. Take the. His name. Innocent to Daniel. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. I hope you are holding it very well. Uh -huh. Oh, we're going to go. It's going nowhere. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. You're not looking at his face. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. And to obey. Till death. And till death. Do us part. Do us part. According to. According to. God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too. And there too. I give you. I give you. My faithful promise. My faithful promise. And the church say. Yeah. Amen. Raise your hand. All right. You have a ring?
me. With this string, I take you. With this string, I take you. Mention her name. As my wedded wife. As my wedded wife. To love you according to God's words. To love you according to God's words. To forsake all others. To forsake all others. And stand by you. And stand by you. In every trial. In every trial. With this ring. With this ring. I bestow upon you. I bestow upon you. My name. My name. My possessions. My possessions. My enduring affections. My, my enduring affections. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And the church will say. Repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I receive you. I receive you. Mention his name. Innocent Sonny for Banyo. As my wedded husband, as my wedded husband, to love you, to love you, according to God's word, according to God's word, to forsake all others, to forsake all others, and stand by you, stand by you in every trial, in every trial, with this ring, with this ring, I receive your name. I receive your name. Share your possessions. Share your possessions. And give you, and give you my enduring devotion. My enduring devotion. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And, Spirit. and the church will say.
Our brother no sense should not be alone. And pray Pastor Jane to be a help me for him. We are standing here today as a witness to this agreement to be husband and wife and to work together. We pray, oh God, whatever this family needs to succeed, give it to them in Jesus' name. The world say, whatever God has joined together, let no man put asunder. We pray, oh God, that you will cause your faith to shine upon them. Anywhere you go under this heaven, favor shall be your portion in Jesus' name. That God who brought you together will keep you and end this marriage. Any man or woman or any power that rises against you will fall for your sake in Jesus' name. This marriage shall be fruitful. This marriage should be, will bring glory to God, honor to the church, honor to your families in Jesus' name. At any time you need help, God will send you help us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that through this marriage, you have a godly children who will call upon the name of the Lord. You are children we possess the gates of the enemies in Jesus' name. I pray for today, evil gifts will never come to this wedding. Anybody that comes with evil gift, that evil gift will follow him or her back home in Jesus' name. I pray that your gold will never turn to silver. Gold will come to protect you. And every place you need to receive it in Jesus' name. That devil that could not stop you from coming to this altar today will never stop you forever in Jesus' name. Go and be in good health. Go and prosper. Go and expand and make the kingdom of God happy. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Having made these pledges of your affection and taking the vows of fidelity and prayers offered on your behalf, I do by the authority conferred upon me as a minister of the gospel of Christ to pronounce you husband and wife no longer.
Hallelujah. All right, I want to call Reverend Austin Oriako to present their statement. Before I open certificate, I want to decree and declare that no forces of darkness will hijack this certificate in Jesus' name. In any evil altar where they want to present this marriage, I decree in the name of Jesus, I present the certificate, that altar will catch fire in Jesus' name. Say the amen louder. It is a pleasure to present this wonderful certificate to this wonderful family in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? All right, before we take the photograph, please, sister, go one side. I want us to send this, our sister, to market to get the first pot of soup for our brother. Is it possible? Yes, sir. Is it possible? Yes. All right. If you have the token of 1,000, 1, 2,000, please pick it up and let's use it to send that to the market. This is coming direct from the altar to hand over to her so that she will use it to go to the market and get the, the, all the things that she needed from Monday. Please pick up your own. Come and join me very fast. We are sending her again. God bless you. You've done so much for me. Oh, Lord. I say, Lord. In my heart, I say, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, 
Can we celebrate them? Aha, uh -huh, they are there. We also have the Owede brethren. They also had as a wedding in the Apoma Pastors Church, and they said, "We love our pastor. We are here. Can we celebrate the Owede brethren? They are here." Amen. I will uh, announce <laughs> Praise God. Well, I've been given the responsibility to tell our sister and daughter Jane with the sum of 19,000 this congregation says you should go home and prepare a sumptuous meal for Brother Innocent. And let him become more innocent for you. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, we will uh, celebrate the marching out now. As they are marching out, the ministers of the gospel, we follow them, and then every other person, and the, the master of ceremony will take over from now to tell us the remaining part of this occasion. Amen. Uh, the grace will be shared after you have eaten your food. <laughs> All right. The march in band over to you. Jehovah, I'm not going to be 